Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Amrish Tripathi. I run analytics for Genpact, and uh, welcome to the Journeys in Analytics Transformation. Uh, with me today, we have uh, Himanshu Arora, who is the Chief Data and Analytics Officer at Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts, uh, and he's been uh, very kind enough to join us in this discussion. Himanshu, welcome. Thank you, Amrish. Thank you for having me here. Exciting to be here. I'm looking forward to the discussion. Awesome. So Himanshu, tell me a little bit more about uh, the role of the Chief Data Analytics Officer. Uh, what's, what's your remit? Yeah, uh, it, uh, let me talk about the broader role of the Chief Data Analytics Officer as I see it in healthcare, particularly in context of improving care for our members. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit specifically about my role as a variation of that. Uh, there are two primary aspects as I see it uh, or the CDO's role in improving healthcare for members. One, of course, is as you'd expect, unlocking the hidden value that's uh, buried in our data that we have about our members, influences of their health, the care that they receive, the communities that they live in, um, and actions that can lead to improved outcomes, right? which is traditionally or typically what you would think um, is, is key to that role, and it certainly is. Uh, second, I believe the key role for the chief data analytics officer or the chief analytics officer uh, is driving transformational capabilities that improve care for our members at scale across the organization and being a catalyst for it. Of course, in partnership with other transformative functions, as you might imagine, such as digital consumer experience, innovation, um, uh, technology engineering, etc. And how do you do that? Um, or how I see a lot of uh, my peers in, uh, in the industry, anyone outside trying to do this, is creating um, acceptance for an almost fearlessness towards change and uh, the occasional but uh, uh, inevitable failures that um, the, the pursuit of change will bring. So for any organization, um, especially for organizations like ours that have been around 80 five plus years. Uh, we have a strong history of driving uh, market-driven transformations. We also have um, deep-rooted cultures that um, have been phenomenally helpful in getting us there. But now that we are on a transformation journey uh, to figure out how do we not just survive but thrive for the next 50 plus years, being a driver of change, um, not just analytics, uh, but more broadly is, is very critical. Um, and so creating that acceptance, uh, you know, making sure your colleagues understand, your senior leadership understands, the board understands uh, that failure is actually a healthy part of the process. Just how we fail fast and fail forward, that's what we are always looking to optimize. Um, in, in specifically in, in terms of my remit, both the offensive ways of leveraging data as a transformational capability to drive change for tomorrow is, is one part of it. The other part of it is data governance, which is more of a defensive play, but making sure we are um, protecting using um, our, our data in, in uh, clear, transparent, but uh, responsible ways. Wow, that sounds uh, like a big role, I'm not sure. Uh, so congratulations for uh, for for on that on that. Uh, Thank you. Given it's a, it's given it's a newer role. Like, what what is your background? Tell us a little bit about like, what's your background. What prepares you for a role like this? Uh, and because as I understand, this is the the the, the organization's first chief data analytics uh, role that they have created. So it, it'll be good yeah. to understand for at least our listeners as how do you, how do you get get prepared for something like this. Yeah, and um, you know, I'll, I'll talk about my background a little bit, but I'll also generalize it to say, as I meet other peers um, in the industry, anyone outside, um, some common themes uh, that, that we are seeing is, uh, well, first, uh, you know, I was reading earlier in the week, back at, in early 2000s in Yahoo, the role of a chief data officer, it actually started off as a little bit of a, uh, an inside joke. Right, and uh, even a few years after, you saw that uh, the prevalence and the acceptance of chief data uh, officer and chief analytics officer 
then in certain cases like ours, the joint chief data analytics officer roles have gained much more acceptance and prevalence. And uh, there are some common themes across transformational roles, whether it's uh, on the analytic side, digital side, consumer experience, innovation, uh, which is an innovator's mindset. Like I mentioned, um, a healthy relationship with failure um, and, and, and propensity for failure. It's uh, being, being and driving uh, increasingly uh, more fearlessness towards change. Um, and then the functional and the technical aspects start to come in. Right, so uh, understanding um, what your data is by industry, by function, um, as, as needed. Understanding how do you harness that data, uh, and understanding what are the key use cases that you might look to apply towards. Those are foundational things. Right? Um, then there's of course the, the the people aspect of it, which is for any chief data analytics officer or anyone preparing themselves for this role, it's very important to understand uh, what you bring to the table, but also be very clear about what you don't and where you need other strong collaborators, individuals, whether on your team or on other teams, what are the gaps you need to fill? Uh, and my general observation has been the, the mo there's two main molds of, uh, of peers that I'm seeing. Uh, one is coming traditionally from very strongly data-driven, data-anchored, uh, analysis, analytics-anchored functions like Hatchoria. Right, so that's that's one, uh, one key source. Um, and we have some phenomenal people uh, who, who are, who have harnessed the traditional actuarial skills into uh, analytics officers uh, and, and, and implement roles. The other is that uh, there's, the, the more the diversity of experiences that you've had in the past and the, the broader your understanding is about how organizations win, uh, particularly as the markets are changing around them, the regulatory environment's changing around them. So for myself, uh, I spent a lot of time early on in my career in management consulting and as a management consultant, you get to experience the 360 degrees of any corporate function, more or less, uh, or, or any corporation's functions, uh, more or less. I then spent some time um, at uh, another large, or, or at a large national player, uh, primarily in the digital space. Um, then I dipped a little bit outside of healthcare, uh, and, but deep into predictive analytics, right? So that was a, uh, more of a deep dive uh, in in pure play analytics. And then in my next role, I started to abstract out of that, going more towards the full spectrum of analytics. So again, that's one way to do it. Uh, every peer I talk to, people have uh, made their own journeys, made their own, uh, made their own paths. But those are a couple of common themes that are starting to emerge. Wow, wow, that's fascinating. I mean, it's fascinating to you know, listen to your background, but also kind of what you see is kind of how the role is evolving. And what's really interesting, you the point, two points you made, one is uh, the chief analytics and data officer role is a transformation role, it's not a technical role. And, and, and that's, that's, right. a, that's a great observation uh, that was there. And the second is the notion that analytics has become a team sport. There is, there is, it's like, because we are, we are in the era where we are all looking for the purple unicorn or someone who can do everything. And what you basically said right. is there are different kinds of skill sets that's required and how you bring the team together, that actually matters a lot. So that's, that's fascinating. But do people, do your peers understand your role? It given it's a new role and everything, like how, how do your peers understand what, what your agenda is and, and uh, the challenges you face around that? Like, tell us a little bit more in terms of, you know, the, the, the day-to-day challenges of a role like this. Yeah, so you know, uh, I would say uh, in many ways this is probably, again, I'm biased, but in my perspective, one of the most rewarding roles that there can be. Um, but it can often be one of the most frustrating roles as well, and that's actually not unexpected because going back to the transformation world, um, for most organizations, 
at any given point in time, unless there are exigent circumstances, uh, the here and now is always more important um, in the immediate uh, execution framework. And what that often means is that whether it's uh, management attention, whether it's resources, uh, financial or otherwise, uh, whether it's uh, the the ability to divert from what we are doing today, it the more transformational the capabilities you're trying to pursue and the more number of transformations you're trying to pursue at any given point in time, uh, it, it can be very challenging uh, to, to create the right framework and understanding of the goal. So, you know, as much as uh, there might be a perception that chief data analytics officers are spending their days looking at data or looking at analysis, that's a big part of the job, but large part of the job, especially early on, especially given organizations like ours where the role is new, is sitting down with people, meeting them where they are, understanding what their challenges are, and translating what you bring to the table, your capability, your function, your team brings to the table, uh, in, in ways that are pertinent to them, right? So you're meeting them more than halfway. And then over time, you start to deliver, uh, create outcomes, and that then creates permission for, in fact, for us, it already is starting to create uh, permission for, to do more and to start to deviate more from this is the way things are done, right? And, uh, you know, what, what's been super helpful for me is that we as an organization are committed towards driving transformative capabilities. Um, and we're actually driving multiple transformations at the same time, which uh, gives us uh, and gives me peers who I can lean on who have similar challenges um, and there's there, there's common areas that we are trying to address together. And we actually formulated a, a, a group of my peers. We you know, started off as a little bit of a joke. We call ourselves the Avengers. Right? We are, we're arranging uh, the, the 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 current state in terms of uh, whatever whatever is keeping us from driving transformational capabilities, and it's myself, it's our head of consumer experience, head of technology engineering, our head of digital, head of innovation, and head of strategy. Right, so we have an informal network going in which we often meet to talk about things that are not related with the day to day projects, programs, but at the in the broad arc, how are we collectively driving the broad arc? What are common themes that we are seeing across? And creating that partnership internally and being uh, advocates for each other's capabilities and functions and transformations as well. Uh, I think that's that's been a huge catalyst that's been very helpful for me and I'm very grateful for. Wonderful, wonderful. It's, it's, it's very rare to get an insider's view of what the role of a chief data analytics officer is. And, uh, and Ivanshu, thank you for joining us and sharing some of that thinking uh, in, in this podcast. I uh, would uh, love to hear talk more about you on different topics, but thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you, Amrish. This was great. Talk to you soon.